<laughs> Since yesterday, when they all forgot that it was my birthday, I finally realized that I was on my own on this campus. Even Mary, who seemed to be my friend, she didn't even remember my birthday. How? How could she do that? I don't know if there are even still lonely people like me. I'm not sure. My darkness has. Uh, who's that? Oh, Bree. Where's your head mounted camera? Don't you already shoot for whatever it's called? The 24 hour broadcast? No, I don't. And stop being mad at me. My dad worked all the things out already. You'll retake your exam. What are we waiting for? Uh, right there? Mrs. Cooper! <gasps> Yay! Yay! Hi there, guys. <laughs> I'm so excited to be honest. The return of the campus part A principal. Of course I missed all the guys, and I missed you too. We haven't seen each other for two weeks. Can you imagine? Two weeks. I've already heard that they have so much new going on there. I imagine that they must have love, intrigues, investigations, new friends. By the way, do you know that the Twixes have left for the basketball college, don't you? I'm certainly feeling sad about it. However, I'm very, very, very proud of them. Besides when, do you know that Thomas is the team captain already? He sunned Max. Now it's quite the opposite over there. Max was the captain here. Wow, guys, it's so unusual, actually. By the way, here's the topping line. In fact, I didn't come just to see you guys, of course, but to congratulate my son, Leo. It was his birthday yesterday. I thought about coming yesterday, but I changed my mind because I couldn't imagine what a tremendous party this place was. I was worried these teenagers would tear the whole campus apart. I can't even imagine. I gotta go ask Leo what the guys cooked up for him. I think it was an unbelievable party here last night. I cannot even imagine that party. Guys, how could you forget? How could you forget Leo's birthday? Made a gaff. How the hell could it happen, guys? Yeah, we didn't know. You didn't tell. And we didn't ask. Wow, that's tough. Well, where is he? I'm gonna go see him now, and you please figure something out. It's just crazy. How could we? How? Brittany. Tyler. Mary. It's the wrong word. That's no good. Guys, we gotta do something about this. We screwed up real bad. We forgot our friend's birthday. Well, we didn't do that on purpose, did we? And look, Mary was his friend lately, didn't she know? Look what Leo posted on the site. Thank you for all the congratulations. Celebrated my subsequent years of life all alone. And the comments are pouring in congratulating him, and of course, blaming us for being so lame and forgetting to wish him the best on his birthday. Anyway, the situation sucks. I'm going. Gotta figure something out. I missed you. Me too. Um, I have a question. Well, look. We hide out our relations, right? Hmm. Then I can flirt with other girls, right? Mm hmm. 
Well, of course you can flirt with this pillow, for instance. Hello there, Campus Part A. Yesterday, we forgot about Leah's birthday, and I've already received a lot of negativity on us. Know what? That's undeserved. But not for me, surely. Sometimes even I forget his name. You tell me about his birthday? Hashtag of the day, Leah was offended. Hey. Hi, Tyler. Anyway, we gotta do something real quick. Leo's offended and that doesn't do us any good. Oh, who cares anyway? What do you mean? First of all, without this guy, we don't even know our online class schedule. Come on. Secondly, he's our friend, you know? Don't make me laugh. Brittany does not make friends with guys. What do you mean? All of my guy friends were head over heels in love with me. And that's really not friendship, you know, but the friend zone. You're telling me that everyone who used to be your friend fell in love with you? Exactly. So be careful not to fall in love with me. <laughs> and what are we? Friends? Free. <laughs> uh, She's changed somehow since the school break. I don't know. Brittany. Anyway, she's actually changed over the school break. She became more reasonable or something. I don't know. Besides, I talked to Emma yesterday and she told me that it maybe wasn't Brittany who changed, but me. After all, I was negatively influenced by Chloe for so long, and I used to get offended by all your comments like I was emasculated by her and that she subbed me. But then I found out that I was offended because that was so true. I was always running after her like a pet. Chloe this, Chloe that. I was forgiving everything, and she, however... Chloe, I don't hold grudges on you. Honestly, it's okay, though. I just... <laughs> I guess, no, for real, I wish you well. <laughs> oh. All right, son, get a grip. Mom, why is it like this? Leo, they didn't do it on purpose. I was talking to them. They just didn't know the date of your birthday. They're very ashamed. Mm-hmm, yeah. Oh, come on, Mom. They're not. They don't seem to care about me. What on earth are you talking about? Mom, that's because I see myself from the outside perspective. I'm a typical nerd, and there are guys like me in every school, you know? They always have a sticker on them saying loser, and laxatives in their sandwich. Those are just common nerds, like me. Leo, don't say such things, please. Mary, is there something you wanted? Mrs. Cooper, may I come in? Well, you've already come in, what? Uh, maybe I guess I should come back later. That's okay, come on and speak up. Oh my gosh. I came in and the first thought I had was total to disaster. Mrs. Cooper was sitting there and her sonny, Leo, was just blinking his eyes at me. Blink, blink. Well, that was my usual thing. I'm a master of awkward situations. I was going to ask a question, but I just forgot everything. I just cannot understand when Mrs. Cooper gives me that look sometimes when one forgets not just what to say, but how to think, live, breathe, walk, and all of that together. In short, that was cringe. The most embarrassing moment I've ever had in my life. By the way, indeed. Now, wait a minute. I'm going to create a poll. Are you afraid of Mrs. Cooper? Answer options. Yes and no. I'm telling you, everyone's gonna hit yes. That's a sure shot. M Mrs. Cooper, I wanted to ask. Jeez, I can't take it anymore. Leo, we forgot your birthday. I mean, we didn't even, we just didn't even know about it, okay? We didn't know Leo. Mary, Mary, he does understand. He's just, he's just so lonely. Back when we didn't have classes like this, now we have all of them on a remote basis. 
he could at least come to me. I was on campus more often and we could gossip, talk about things, talk about this and that, coffee, tea. Mom, you're making things worse. <sighs> Mary, you gotta do something. He's your friend. Yeah, I understand, Mrs. Cooper. We're so ashamed. We really are. I know. So why are you here? Ugh. I was wondering who's going to be the class leader the next semester. Hmm. Who else was not our leader? Hmm. Hear me out, Mrs. Cooper. you got to understand. I want to. I really do. Mary, we won't have a leader this semester. We will have the president of our campus. The president? Hmm. I'll get everything arranged and ready, and then I think we can proceed with elections. Look, Mrs. Cooper, wouldn't it be cool if the president of the campus herself communicated with Leo? It may be cool, actually. Long story short, we screwed up real bad with Leo and we have to atone for that. Yep, so we decided that we should throw him a party. Not just the regular one, but a really cool one. So he could score a full ride. Are we even gonna play the bottle spin game? Oh. 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 Meeting? Well, Mary, we decided to throw a party for Leo. I am in. Well, let's make everything happen then. Yep, oh, and above all, how much should we chip in since Emma and I are low on funds? Um, uh, you're low on your funds and I'm low on my funds. All right, let's do it. Go, 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 go. Alex, it was a great meeting. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Is there anything that you want to tell me? What do you mean? Are you together with Alex? <laughs> what? Are you together with Alex? No, we haven't been dating for ages. Mm. So he's single, right? Well, yeah. Hmm. What are you texting? Girls of Campus Part A, why is our handsome Alex walking the halls alone? You gotta fix that omission. Can I send it? Yeah, you can. Sent? Well, what's that for? For the reason that you're lying to me, and it's not allowed to lie to your friends. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Are you sure that you and Alex are not together? I'm sure. Leave me alone. Mmm, looks like you've already forgotten that video, huh? I love you, and you love me. That's what matters. And the rest doesn't even matter at all. Would you like me to be like Brittany? Let everyone know your every move? Anyway, I should study for the test to fix my grade. Well, if you say so. Take me home, take me on a ride. I, I got a good feeling about the bothering anyone and then someone knocked on my door. Usually I don't open the door because if they knock once, it's probably some kind of trick or prank they're up to. If I open the door, there won't be anyone there. That's what I mean. But then someone knocked for a second time and I realized they were probably standing there with their cameras on. I was 100% sure of that. When they knocked for the third time, then I was surprised. Well, 
I plucked up the courage to go open the door and see who was standing there, but there was no one. That's what it looked like to me. However, there was something I didn't expect. Leo, you are invited to the party from your past. How's that? Well, Leo, let us just show you. But first, you have to imagine it's your birthday today. Do you get it? Just a rewind one day. Your past party taking place today ah, as if it's your birthday. I see. Looks like you're trying to even the score, huh? Well, sort of. Shall we? All right. All set. Yeah! Happy yeah! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Guys, what's this all for? You didn't have to. We love you, bro. We adore you. Well then, let the party begin. <laughs> yeah. Look, tell me what's the vibes, what's the moves? Yeah. I just hit a mic key for the party. I'ma tell the truth I've been winning for so long it's hard to lose okay, Yeah, deal, be my source, uh, Christian like Dior Yeah, I can't stop when I'm far, I just get back up Yeah, I've been quiet all along on my TV toes Yeah, I can't keep it to myself, I just give and go I'm a visionist, yeah, you can't picture this Yeah, ain't no way you cannot work me, boy, I live for this yeah, sipping essential, that's the essential, stop influential. Yeah, so fundamental, that's fundamental, on instrumentals. Yeah, speed of the tempo. Yeah, we got potential. Shoot a movie like I'm Denzel. Running my route to the end zone. And he's still gonna find me. What a fantastic party! Thank you guys! Yeah! Well, what are we gonna do now? Let's play the bottle spin game. Ooh. All right, let's clear this. All right, let's go. I'm spinning first. Ooh. Jeez, don't ooh like that. Uh, who does it point to? Bree and Alex. Are you sure it's me? Oh, come on, don't act up. Alex, are you sure you don't have a girlfriend? He does not have a girlfriend. Go for it. Kiss, 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 Okay, remind me why we're getting punished. Because Chloe made a complete mess. Oh, sure. Am I really to blame for everything? Brittany, why are you just sitting there? I just paid Tyler. Yeah, we've got a deal. She pays me 100 bucks an hour and I clean for her. And when I clean everything, return her money back. I'm kind of bang. You're kind of slow, -pull. Don't mind them, Tyler. Keep going. Clean. Guys, where's Emma? Why doesn't she clean? She probably went to the headmistress and is feeding her again. <laughs> I don't understand people who sit and do nothing while others clean up. Yeah, we see. Everyone is really here and no one has even run away. Sure, Mrs. Cooper. As you can see, no one has fled. Except Emma. We can't find her. Actually, we didn't look we for her. We guys have such a hobby to disappear. Right, Martin? Ha, ha. 
So Emma's not with you? Why would she be with me? All in all, I don't care at all where someone disappears. Because we have more serious someone things to deal with. Someone clogged the toilet with toilet paper? Someone stole food from my fridge? Do you have your personal fridge? Um... What am? Hush, Tyler's thinking. And this happens very rarely. Am I finally able to yes, continue? Yes, Mrs. Cooper. Thanks. We got robbed. What does that mean? Well, it's like you're robbing money from your dad's credit card, but the other way around. And the school is empty. My baby G Shock said it's time. All my thoughts linked up, multiplying, no divide. Never miss, it's a crime. But my karma stays lit. Just sit by my side. Put the work in, practice and learn. The only truth when I spit, write a fucking sermon. Even shoot my flicks, said it's like a surgeon. Said he'd been rehearsing. Oh my gosh. Who did it all? Phew! I'm so happy that I have sneakers on. Otherwise, they would have been stolen. And what if I was in the room at the time of the theft with my sneakers on? Then what? Would they steal me? I absolutely don't care about this dumb school. I want to make sure all my stuff is there. My beautiful photo. My beloved portrait. You saw everything. You know everything. Tell me, who has robbed our school? Where are all my stuff? Big deal. Your rags can be found in any trash can. But my branded things? That's what matters. Hi, girls. What? What have you done here? That's what we want to ask you. What have you done here? I just got here. How should I know? You're the only one that didn't clean up with us this morning. Yeah, and the school was rubbed just at that time. So do you think that... Wait. You can think. All right, enough. I'm sick of it. I'm calling my dad right now and asking him to sort this out. Seriously, you guys, there is no way that this is legal. Well, it seems to me when the thieves came in, they were first blinded by the pink beam from your clothes, so they had to look at something more adequate to figure Very everything funny, out. Very funny, Chloe. All right, I'm going to go call my dad. I have to call, too. Full confusion. I didn't even have time to finish reading my book for the 17th time. I had to take it to the shower with me. Hey girls, what should I wear? They took out all the clothes. Listen here, Antoine. You said we were breaking up and now you want to come to me? I'm not your toy. And anyway, I have a boyfriend. Oh, so you don't believe me? Then come and check it out. Hey. Bye. What's wrong? We'll find all of our stuff. And I find the thieves. Don't worry. I don't even think about it. I'm sure it's some headmistress business again. Looks like she want to teach us. So why are you mad then? Listen, do you want to be my boyfriend? What? Well, long story short, my ex-boyfriend who no longer wants to be an ex, but I still want him to be an ex. In general, he wants to come here. Don't be thick, Tyler. Can you pretend that we're together? Come on, Chloe. But we're together. In what sense? Well, in the classroom, in a cafe sometimes. Even now we've Jeez, met together. Jeez, Tyler. It's gonna be harder than I thought. But you can do it. I would ask Martin, but he won't lie. And you are just right for this role. And how am I supposed to play your boyfriend? A brutal, unbridled, macho, disarming vibes, or a modest romantic with a bouquet of wildflowers wrapped in a piece of paper with some poems. Tyler, are you glitched? It's always like this when I'm nervous. Kinda smarter. Tyler, I want you to act like a guy who has ever dated a girl, not watch this in movies. I got this. Uh, don't overreact. It's all fictional. Go on, go on. But don't turn around, or you'll turn around and suddenly stumble. I mean, watch your step. Who could have known for sure when no one would be at the school? How could the whole school be robbed in several hours? May I come in? You're already here, and there's nowhere to sit. Mrs. Cooper, I wanted to clarify something. 
Am I entitled to some kind of compensation for moral damages? It turns out that the theft was not our fault and the school should bear all blame and cover all losses. I don't want to upset you, Emma, but I'll gladly do it. We are looking for thieves and we all feel the same way. Can you call the police and tell them to search the seventh volume of my encyclopedia? First of all, I haven't read it yet. Is it you who stole everything by chance? What? How? So, what? You are the only one who came to me with some questions. How dare you? Emma, you'd better go. Goodbye. So what do you think? Will they manage to find the thieves and get everything back? Hope so, because there were so many valuable stuff. <laughs> yeah, your chapstick, for example. That's enough, man. Oh, here's my girlfriend. If you call me that again. I don't get it either. Honey, why are you angry? You can't escape your destiny. One more word, Tyler, and you won't escape from a concussion. Really, what's going on? Did I miss something? Well, if short. If short, I get in trouble. It's about school and theft? Not actually. Antoine called me today. He should be here soon. And Tyler, hmm, he's gonna be my kind of new boyfriend. Mm, it doesn't really make sense. Well, how you don't understand? Antoine will get jealous. It will hurt him as much as it hurt me when he left me. Mm, well... It sounds like a great plan. And great boy! The problem is that he hasn't called me for several hours. That's a bad sign. Why don't you call? No, I'm a girl. And even if I have problems, I don't care. I won't call first. That's an interesting argument for firemen and ambulances. Not a day, but... But a night. <laughs> Are you sure that Tyler is the right choice? <laughs> <laughs> anyone can humiliate Tyler, but not anyone can regain my trust. <laughs> Have you called your dad? Will he find the thieves? Yeah, he said he'd work on it. Great. Just don't make me listen to your rap again. Girls, I need your help. Obviously some dumb ones. No! I need to find out information about Chloe. You said the word information. I didn't think you knew such long words. What kind of music does Chloe listen to? Stupid one. And who are her friends? Some dumbasses. Okay, what books does she read? Stupid one. Wait, what is the conclusion from this? Chloe is a dumbass? No, the conclusion is that you absolutely don't know your friend. Tyler, you're so sincere. Interesting. Why was he asking about Chloe anyway? I'm also interested. I'm gonna find out. Martin, thank you for coming. Are you undercover? Hush, shh, Martin. I have a suspicion that we know who the thief is and they're studying at our school. What? No, what? I say I know who the thief is. The who? Well, I actually can't tell you yet, but you can help me look for the clues. Mm, well, I don't really want to be a part of this. Listen, I helped you with your prank party so you can help me. Um, okay then, what should I do? Okay, come here. Are you getting ready? That's right! Damn! Even your posters are stolen! As you can see. Tyler, are you cleaning your shoes with my $1,500 cream? Why not? It absorbs well. It also says for skin. For facial skin, stupid! And the shoes, Brittany, by the way, are the face of a man. Stop, Brittany! Your cream was not stolen. Uh, yeah, I guess so. How does it work out like that? The whole school was robbed, but Britney's scream was left behind. Oh, uh, someone's calling me. See you later. That's really weird. Yeah. Why is she putting shoe cream on her face? Damn, Tyler, if you dishonor me in front of Antoine... If we look at this situation from the point of view of quantum physics, then perhaps okay. we can admit... Okay, okay, take it easy. Maybe this... This is my gorgeous girlfriend, Chloe. No, that's my bae, Chloe. Wrong one. Hello? 
What are you doing? Rehearsing a speech for a boyfriend. What do you mean? Well, Chloe asked me to help her and pretend to be her boyfriend. So that's how it is. Yeah, she asked for help, and I gladly agreed. And now she walks dissatisfied, worries that I'll let her down. Tyler, how can you let someone down? You know, women are irrational, even stupid creatures. I don't understand why I don't get things with girls. Maybe I'm saying something wrong. Oh come on! Personally, it is a pleasure to listen to your words. Probably beautiful girls have their own priorities in this. I have never heard so many compliments in a row. Thank you, Tyler. No way! Even the nerd girl got away. I must continue rehearsing. Tyler is such a stupid boy. Oh yeah, the most offensive phrase I've ever heard. Just imagine, Chloe asked him to be her boyfriend. What? Well, that's fictional. Her Antua is coming. What? Yeah, you missed a lot. Girls, guess what? I did not expect this at all. What happened? I know who robbed the whole school. I have all the necessary evidence. You have a second to confess. <laughs> Wait, what? How did you know? Know what? Brittany, is that you? Me. Are you ready? He will be here soon. Sure. Sweetheart. Oh, he's calling. Hello. Won't come. Well, I don't need him. Big deal. All right, brace yourself. You're nuts. Didn't you hear and it? Tuya he's is not coming, coming now. But why? Enough. Stop uh. it. He won't come, and so what? Just an idiot. You're a beautiful and smart girl, but you're killing yourself over a kind of <laughs> pimply mushroom. Mushroom? Yeah. The first thing that came to mind. Tell me something else. I can't do that when asked. Okay, Tyler, never mind. Thanks for agreeing to help. Thanks for choosing me. I was pleased. Get in the school now. There's a meeting. Guys, we went to the meeting and you subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell, and put likes. And also write in the comments what color was Tyler's clothes when he wiped his sneakers. Bye bye everyone! Bye bye everyone! In the next episode... Plan how to make Chloe have a crush on me. I just wanted a cool renovation. It turns out we have to wait one more day. I think Chloe already loves me. Yeah, tell me in more detail. In that case, I'll just give you an F for the semester. Brittany, do I need to remind you that it was you who lost all our stuff? Brittany, how dare you? Brittany, you make my girlfriend nervous. I'm not your girlfriend. Just why, Brittany? My books. Why didn't you like them? I knew right away it was you. They took everything except the pink kitchen. Actually, Mrs. Cooper told you everything. No, she didn't. She just asked for help with evidence. And you got busted. So when will my stuff be returned? How nervous are you? I'm done! We're talking with you! Oh gosh, I wanted the best, but you still don't like something. And who likes to live with bare walls? I don't. Okay, so what are we gonna do next? I don't get it. Living with such a terrible interior is completely out of fashion. I thought you would thank me. I specially asked my dad. He and his workers took out all this junk. Soon everything will be cool and beautiful. So you just didn't like the interior and decided to redo it? Of course no. I mean, I won't redo it. It will be done by specially trained people. And tomorrow, we'll have a new cool school. When? when? Hello, Dad? Yeah. Well, I was talking to the guys, and it's totally cool if you want to start as soon as possible. Okay, great. Sounds good. What do you mean, one more day? What will I tell the guys? Hello, Dad? Oh, no. I'm in so much trouble. My baby G-Shock said it's time. All my thoughts linked up, multiplying, no divide. Never miss, it's a crime, but my karma stay lit. Just sit by my side. Put the work in, practice and learn. Hey, you know, maybe we were a little bit hard on her. She just wanted the best. 
Oh, dude, someone here got a crush. <laughs> Stop. She's just a pretty girl, and that's all. I don't believe you. Bro, I don't even know how to hit on her. Dude, you've come to the right place. I knew you wouldn't be of any help. Uh-huh. What are you writing all the time anyway? Hey, bro, give it back. <laughs> Plan, how to make Chloe fall in love with me? Learn from me, bro. Learn what? It's empty. A macho like me keeps everything in his head. Oh, so there's nothing there. What do you mean? Never mind. What's up with Brittany? So, do you like her? No, damn it. I'm just killing myself for a whole week just for fun. Oh, got it. I thought you'd like her. <laughs> of course I do. I just don't know how to make a move. Bro, you confuse me. Do you like her or not? <sighs> Why do I live with you? Are you happy about it too, bro? Yeah, that's the best thing that happened to me. That's nice, bro. In honor of this, can I take your bomber jacket? If you haven't noticed, our things aren't in there either. Oh, damn, habit. Sorry. How do I get your attention, Brittany? Guys, what do you think? Do you think Brittany would want to be with me? Comment down below what do you think. At least some food was left. Do you want? No, thanks. <laughs> bon appétit. Thank you. Tyler, have you seen? Seen what? My cup, but I guess it's gone now too. No, I haven't, but I can help you to find uh, it. Yes, please. Okay. Oh, found! That uh, one? Yeah, cool. Thanks, Tyler. Apparently, they left it because it's not pink. <laughs> I don't understand. Good afternoon, Miss Cooper. Brittany, just because there's nothing in my office doesn't mean you shouldn't knock. Who is it? A bat in a hat. Oh, Brittany, has the new furniture arrived? Let them bring it in. It's impossible to sit on this stool. Uh, there's a little tiny issue. Brittany, you can draw a whole album of problems. Let's talk about these issues when there's a new renovation and furniture just like you promised. But that's the issue. I don't get it. You're headmistress and you don't understand. Brittany, dad said we have to wait another day. And also, you have a great haircut, and your makeup is not bad. Better than yesterday. What? Well, the makeup really wasn't very good yesterday. Another day without everything? No one canceled school. It's not my fault. My dad framed me. I just wanted a cool renovation. It turns out we have to wait one more day. What did the guys think about this? It's hard to think about something you don't know about. You didn't tell them? Great. Then you can tell them two things at once. What's the other one? The other one is that the lessons are still happening and I don't care how you solve this problem. Oh my gosh. Hey you, what's up? Well, thinking about how to make Britney. And I'm generally super cool. Guess what? I think Chloe already loves me. <laughs> I definitely need more info on it's that. It's just, look, if I'm a macho, well, it's what, what it's felt, of course. Oh my gosh, why are you still bothering me? We've already discussed everything. Do me a favor and don't call me anymore. Looks like she dumped another lover boy. Salute. What are you doing here? Will the furniture be delivered? Well, how do you drink from a cup? Normal. It's good to have something to drink from. Uh-huh. If there was nothing to drink from, then you wouldn't drink. A mark for logic. Well done. Guys, it's cool to have empty walls. Doesn't it look great without all that stuff? No. no. Is it much to do about nothing? Seems I'll find the reason. Brittany, what about the new awesome renovation? Yeah, Brittany, it's not fun anymore to sleep on the only chair. Oh, yeah, any minute now. 
or in a day. I have very good hearing. Did you say in a day? What? That's screw. Oh, and also Mrs. Cooper asked me to tell you that there will still be lessons. Lessons? What lessons? Brittany, come on here. Chloe, wait, you forgot or lost. Where did she go? What's the matter? The main thing is that I'm with you. Maybe she was joking, but from the fact that there will be a lesson, I am extremely happy. Everyone only thinks about themselves. What if something actually uh, happens to her? What could happen to that stupid blonde? Hey, don't call her that. Hey, hey, easy man. Chloe is just stating a fact. She does what? Never mind, Tyler. All right, I need to calm down. I'll go read the evacuation instructions. It's the only thing left in the bathroom. Yeah, and I also need... Lost something? N no, I didn't lose anything. Chloe, what's wrong? Oh, dang! This is interesting, but nothing is clear. All right, I'll look in the backyard. How could I lose the invitations? That's 10. I always carried it with me, even when the house was robbed. Hey, did you miss something? How do you know? Well, I always read the thoughts of beautiful girls. Mm, well, maybe. So, well, let's see. Mm, yeah, it's probably somewhere else. There's definitely nothing. No way. It's definitely uh, right here. Why yell like that? Because you're just inattentive. Here it is. No way. I just looked there and it wasn't. Aw, thanks, Tyler. Mwah, you're the best. Hey, what happened? Beautiful, but, but crying. Thanks. That's so sweet of Ooh. you to say. Are you still upset about the extra lessons? I just wanted the best. Well, don't take it personally. I just wanted the school to look awesome and have an awesomely cool renovation. I understand. But when the most beautiful girl's mascara is smeared, I don't understand. Smeared? I don't even have a mirror. Here, let me help. I if you don't mind. Yes, please. Damn, wait. I need to organize a lesson, otherwise Mrs. Cooper will kill me. But the class is empty. Oh, thanks. I didn't know. I thought you would help, but you were like everyone else. So, why did you bring us together? And so urgent. Maybe something is lost. Not this time. I want to throw a party. Again? Why are you so unhappy? Do you know anything besides parties? And... I'm just not up to it. Actually, you're invited there too. Will there be a slow dance? All right, I'm gonna go. No, wait, I need your help. It will be a secret party without girls. Without you? This is my party. Of course I'll be there. And of course, Mrs. Cooper. Shouldn't know anything. I'm the master of keeping secrets. Do you remember, Martin? Once you shouted in your sleep, Brittany, my love. And since then, no one has known about it? Ah. <sighs> Thanks, bro. So the main thing is that Emma doesn't find out, right? Exactly. Otherwise, she'll tell Mrs. Cooper. Wait a minute. So the whole house was robbed, but your invitation wasn't? I always carry my valuables with me. All right. It should be somewhere around here. Good afternoon. So it was you who sent me the location. Yeah, it's the 21st century. Everything is possible through the phone. Yeah, I realize that. Too bad your phone wasn't stolen. I just wanted the best. Already heard it 1,000 times. Where are the rest, Brittany? This is the first time I'm having to ask you, Brittany. I guess they were all offended by me and won't come. Well, in that case, I guess I'll give you an F for this semester. Sorry for being late. 
Yeah, just pure internet. That's why we walked along. Guys, you still came. Brittany, that was a great idea. I am very glad that the lessons will still I'm be. I'm not happy about this. Of course, but fresh air is all is good. Write down today's lesson. All right, today's lesson is over, and I won't give you any homework today. Super great! Kidding! Cool. Ten paragraphs for the next lesson to know by heart. What a funny joke. Come on, bro. I can't wait for the new books to arrive. Hey, guys, wait for me. Yeah, it would be cool now to come to the room to sleep in a warm bed. Or read a couple of new books. All right, guys, I got it. Tomorrow there will be a new awesome renovation. Or maybe in a couple <laughs> days, huh? <laughs> yeah, one more day to sleep on the floor. One last day. <laughs> guys, let's take a before photo for my Insta. And as keep it. <laughs> okay, 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 let's, okay go. let's go. Uh, hello? Where is my phone? You also pick up things and then search them? What do you mean? Brittany, you're just taking after me. I'll be losing something all day too. I'm not losing anything. It's one of you who took it to take revenge on me. But why us? Brittany, do I need to remind you that it was you who lost all our stuff? No, but what about my subscribers? Likes? Comments? What am I without all this? Brittany, don't be so upset. Did you try calling yourself? How would I call? I don't even have a phone. Hold on. You can dial from my phone. What? Is this an iPhone 10? Wait, do you have me listed as gorgeous Britney? Come on! Good job! Yeah, I mean, it was the first thing to come to mind. Guys, there's a lot of dirty dishes yeah, in the kitchen. Yeah, a lot of. We should clean it. There were no dishes there. They also took it away. Ahem. Oh, yeah, I saw a couple of spoons there. Uh, well, we'll go. No way. Phone out of range. What am I going to do now? Everything was on there. You came up with a great idea. You also wanted to eat? <laughs> yeah, really. They would be a cute couple. Who are you talking about? I don't even know. And you, Chloe, do you know? Because Emma doesn't know. Martin and Brittany. Ah, that's what I thought. In short, I have an idea. Okay, now it's definitely the end. Well, maybe it's for the best. No, this is for the worse. Now nobody needs me. Why do you say that? Well, because that's all that I had. It was my entire life. Or maybe to be happy, you need, well, maybe you need a boyfriend. <laughs> where am I? And where are all the guys? Well, don't be offended. I just don't take you into account. You're my friend. Oh, right. Sure. Oh, who's there? Come in. Wait a second. I'll show you how to knock. Hold it. Give it to Brittany. But where did you get the money? I canceled the party and the guys and I gave all the money to the phone. What kind of party was it supposed to be? It's a secret and you don't really need to know. <sighs> Thank you, but it's not going to work. Why? Brittany can buy an iPhone herself. What was more important was inside. Her Instagram and all her followers. Bro, I'm kind of gamer, but I'm still very hip and Tyler some. wants to say that he restored all social networks and Britney's accounts. But how? Martin, where have you been? Uh, I, uh, I mean, it's for you. Thanks, of course. But I can buy it myself. Really, I, I don't think you could buy one like this. What? Oh my gosh, did you restore all my social networks? Cool, but it's impossible. For a pretty girl like you, anything is possible. Thank you, Martin. You are the best friend. Thanks. For what? Well, it's 
because you're so beautiful. And in general, I really like. Anyway, I saw a cool trend. Guys, subscribe to our channel. Here, the further, the more interesting. And don't forget the bell. And write in the comments where Brittany left her phone. Now let's take a selfie. In the next episode, tomorrow I will give you a full tour of the school. Tyler, you are my By ideal. By the way, I called my dad and he said the renovation's almost I'm ready. I'm screwed. So you'll expel uh -huh. me? That was too cruel even for you, Brittany. What do you mean? You posted a picture with Martin and signed that you were best friends. Yeah, I called him my best friend way too soon. You were probably uh, right. Chloe isn't talking about that, actually. And about what? He doesn't think you're friends, Brittany. He if likes you. If you knew how many guys like me, so what? Now I have to worry about everyone? But the photo is really cool. Everyone liked it. Did you what? see how you're many nervous. likes? And why don't you eat anything? Uh, I read in a magazine that if you fast for a whole week, you feel better. Better who? The one who fasts for two weeks? That's fun. Okay, we've gone off topic. So, what to do with Martin? Oh, Emma, take him if you want. But you liked him, or no longer? Well, I kind of liked him, but now not so much. I just don't like when things are like that, you know? I like it to be interesting. Like to kill yourself over someone who doesn't like there you? There are no such someones. Alright, let's go, or we'll be late for the lesson. And my baby G Shock said it's time. All my thoughts linked up, multiplying, no divide. Never miss, it's a crime. But my karma stays lit. Just sit by my side. Put the work in, practicing and learning. Only truth when I spit, right the fucking sermon. Even shoot, my flicks said it's like a surgeon. Said he'd been rehearsing. Hi, girls. Hey, Chloe. Hi, Tyler. Hello, where is Martin? He's got bipression. What? Depression over Brittany. Ew, don't overthink. I completely forgot that our school now looks like this. Brittany, it turns out your dad will finish the renovation today and put all the furniture in. Exactly. Tomorrow, I will give you a full tour of the school. By the way, the boys' room is almost ready. Hope so, because your workers didn't let me in all day. Good afternoon, class. Hello, Hello. Miss Cooper. Brittany, have you already explained to the guys why they still don't have a complete repair? But they will have it soon, today. Almost everything is done there. The whole school is looking forward to this. Brittany, will your father restore the library? Of course. Okay, kids. Since the class is not ready yet, but we still have to do something at school, then you will have a task. Oh, that is interesting. Very. You have been studying with each other for quite a long time and you know each other quite well. So your task will be the next, to write a story about any person from our school. Can I make a rap about it? You can do whatever you want. The main thing is quickly, because I'll check it out in the evening. Cool. The dark period has passed. The darker one has begun. Don't worry, it'll be easy. I even know who to choose. <laughs> Well, then you can help me too. Let's go. Let's go. Brittany, Psst. can you keep a secret? Damn, why know a secret if you can't tell anyone? Take. Thanks. There's money? Of course no. There's a note for Chloe. Tell her, but say you don't know from whom. But it's from you. Wake up, Brittany. Ah, I got it, I got it. Okay, I'll tell her. Girls, I bet you'll fall now. If you say that the repair is cancelled, then only you Calm will fall down, here. Chloe. Brittany, what is that? A letter. For Chloe. From whom? From Tyler. He asked not to tell. Oops. I guess it was a secret? Was. What? Tyler wrote me a letter? Let me read. Let's laugh. <laughs> What is there? Nothing. 
Wait a second. Oh, like we don't know what's there. Do you know? Tyler wrote her such a thing, I haven't even read it in books. The books you usually read are called messages, and in general, reading other people's letters is impolite. Well, I read this while walking from class to room. I was so nervous. Nervous about what? I actually have a drama. If for each of your dramas they gave me a brick, I would have built an 80-story warehouse long ago. A warehouse for what? For keeping the other bricks in it. Let's go. Nice business, man. Brittany tagged you on her Instagram, and now you have 1,000 more followers than before. I mean, 1,003. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, bro, just suck it up. You know Chloe is blowing me off, but like a real man, I'm fighting for her heart. But how? Oh, what a day. You asked me for advice. Come on. I wrote Chloe a letter saying that I love her. What? You've known each other for less than a month. What, love? So what? I don't need years to figure it out. Here she comes into my room yesterday and yells, Stupid, where's my juice? You stole it from my fridge again? I'm covering my ears and imagine that she says, Tyler, you are my ideal. Yeah, that's completely insane. I think you just have a crush on her. But real love is a complicated feeling. No, I have a crush on sausages, but Chloe really stole my okay, heart. Okay then. So, what should I do about Brittany? Fight for her, instead of sitting sniveling. Okay, I'll do it. Thanks. Let's go inside. Let's go. Oh, reading the letter from your boyfriend? He's not my boyfriend. Come on, Brittany. Chloe would never be with Tyler because he might even be in love with me. Yeah, of course. Chloe would never be with him because he is completely degraded. Uh, from the point of view of biology, degradation is also a development. Here's, that's insane. He wrote some trash. I don't even care. Yes, let's discuss better. Who will write an essay about whom? Phew, I thought you'd ask again when the renovation will be. I will. I'll write about Tyler. <laughs> Easy peasy. Then I'll write about Martin. No doubt. Emma, I won't whine about you. I'm so pleased. Oh, hope you say so after hearing that. <laughs> Have you thought who you're gonna write about? Write what? Man, you don't know. We were given the task to write a school about any person from the school. Oh, hey oh, Chloe, didn't anyone give you a letter? <laughs> One did, but don't even know who it's from. I know, but I won't tell you. Brittany, do you mind if I write about you? Of course, I don't mind. And I'm about Chloe, and you, Chloe, about me? No. Do you think this is funny? What do you mean? Who did this? Someone very stupid! And very funny! Ha -ha. I will laugh too when you all are kicked out of school. So, no renovation needed? By the end of the day, I must know who it is. And Brittany, if the renovation is not done by the evening, you will be expelled first, period. I'm so scared. Let's go, Emma. Tyler, did you do this? No. Bro, if you did this, you better confess. Someone to me that even if the renovation isn't done, I'll be to blame. As always, in everything, that's insane. Stupid Tyler. There's always problems because of him. I'll write about him. It's going to be a huge Brie, thing. Brittany, keep calm. I'm trying. By the way, Dad called. In the evening, there will be a renovation. I can't wait to show you all. And I'm looking forward to it. Wait, do you have blush on your cheeks? Yeah. I told you not to touch my makeup without permission. I asked. Chloe allowed. Oh my gosh. Say thank you for not writing about you. Otherwise, I would write even worse. Brittany, stop being like that. Like what? I can't find the right words so you don't Google. And I can. Boring Specky. Martin, Martin, you fell in love with the wrong girl. Your perfect girlfriend is here, sitting and waiting for you. Tries to get your attention, makes headmistress's posters. Oops. I called her six times and she hangs up on me. Well, take a break. And then 89 times in a row without stopping. 
Have you written your essay about Chloe yet? Yeah, she will love it. But I still can't make one about Brittany. I can't find the right words. So, describe her. What is she like? Selfish, narcissistic, stubborn. No, man. That way you won't win her heart. Then I won't write anything about her at all. I'll write about Mrs. Cooper. She's also a person from this school, right? And Brittany will not be offended that no one wrote about her? I don't care. Enough. I'm sick of her. Oh my god! Just take a look at our room! Brittany did her best! I'm shocked! Graffiti, a skateboard, basketball... It's just awesome! Imagine what's gonna be in here when she finishes the renovation! I have inspiration about Chloe. You are my potato. I am your garden. You and I have love. Love we have. Oh yeah, inspirational. Yeah, enough. I'll go. You bring down my inspiration. The room is really amazing. Chloe, Chloe, you're like the sea. What? I'm not talking with you. Okay, come back to steal something from the fridge. Yeah, but you're here, so it won't work. By the way, thank you for the letter. You're welcome. I mean, what letter? Come on, Tyler, relax. Brittany say right away with you. Oh, Brittany. That's right that Martin doesn't write about her. He's not writing an essay about Brittany? Oh, no. She won't like it. She's so annoying. Brittany is the best. Brittany is the most beautiful. But who is the best and the most beautiful? You. Well, and Emma. And everyone. It's just... Don't think that... That's okay, Tyler. I have read your letter. I'm very pleased. Me too. You think only about yourself. You don't care about anybody else's what feelings. What nonsense. You yourself came up with something, but blame me for this? And what did I come up with? Martin, I'll never date someone like you. Someone like me? Oh, here you are. Looky loose. Calm down. It won't help. She doesn't understand anything at all and doesn't value anything but money. You're just jealous because you're poor. No, that really hurts. School of losers. The best thing that will happen here is my renovation. We don't need your renovations. It's better with empty walls without you. Martin. It's okay. She doesn't exist to me anymore. <sighs> what a mess. You're beautiful when you're mad. Come on, Tyler. Knock, knock. Yes? I have something important to say. Surprise me. <sighs> it's me. Emma, even though I'm wearing glasses, it doesn't mean I can't see anything. I see you. I'm the one who hung posters with you. Did you get paid by Brittany to take the blame? No, I did it myself. More details, please. Well, I'm tired of the fact that everyone thinks that I'm weak and tender, but I can joke and misbehave. Yes, I mean, I did it so I wouldn't be considered an outcast. Emma, in order not to be considered an outcast, it is not necessary to paint my portrait. Do you think so? I'm sure. You'll expel me? Uh-uh. So that our school can drastically be rolled down in all subjects? You're the only one who's learning here so somehow. what should I do? I removed all the posters, and you were on duty at school for a week. Wash the windows, the floor, wipe the dust. Yeehaw! Physical labor stimulates mental activity. You are the best! I'll go. Go. Guys, the lesson is coming soon. Did you write the essays? Yeah. Me too. Are you not in the mood? Today's such a day. Without any moody. Have you heard that the headmistress has already found the one who hung up the posters? Really? And who is it? Well, someone from another class. A boy. A bully. All right. He thought it was me. So, let's go to class? Let's go. Uh, <laughs> I won't even talk to her. Hey, bro, take a seat. All right, we found out who glued the posters. It's not you, fortunately. <laughs> we already know. Okay, so who's the first in our list? Brittany. Brittany. 
Who were you writing about? About the local clown. Tyler. Read. Don't be rude. Tyler. He has been studying with me for two weeks now. And during this time, I found out that he is a stupid, primitive kid from whom everyone just goes crazy. Also, he loves rap and some kind of sport. He eats everything he sees and doesn't understand hey, relationships slow down. at all. Never mind. Tyler doesn't notice that no one takes him seriously. They just laugh at him. And even Martin, who pretends to be his friend, actually thinks he's a fool. And Chloe, with whom he is in love, will never date him Enough. in his life. What? Do not take offense at the truth. You are so mean. Ew! Brittany, you probably did not understand the task. You don't have to offend people, but to write about them. You study together for two weeks. I thought you understand what friendship and respect are. Instead, you just fight and yell at each other forever. I am disappointed. This is why no one wrote about you, Brittany. You wrote, actually. I wrote about Mrs. Cooper. So no one is interested in the repair anymore? Look who's here. What a defender. Chloe, never mind. Listen here. Listen here. If somebody says something that is not nice about Tyler one more time, you don't know him at all. Chloe. What? He's not ugly to you anymore? How can my boyfriend be ugly to me? Boyfriend? I am your boyfriend? Oh, well, did you propose to date in your letter? I did. Okay then, I agree. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Put likes and click on the bell. And to be the first to see our next video, write in the comments what is written on the wall in our new room. Well, now we have to go. Because there is a complete shock content. Yeah. Bye, Bye. everyone. In the next episode, the coolest and classiest school is open. Woo! Still mad at me about Tyler? I just do not like to be hypocritical, so I... If you want, I can carry you. Yeah, if there's no other way, please. What? Scarecrow is no longer so scary? You know, this is the worst date I've ever had in my life.